In this video, we are going to have a practice problem on how to evaluate limits of a rational functions with radical sign. On our first example, what is the limit of 1 over square root of x minus 1 half all over x minus 4 as x approaches 4? If we are going to substitute directly the value of x, we are going to have 0 over 0. So how can we find the limit of the given expression? So let's have limit as x approaches 4. Let us simplify the numerator by finding the LCM of 2n square root of x. And that will be 2 square root of x. And let's multiply 2 times 1, that is 2. And then negative 1 times square root of x, that is negative square root of x. And let us rewrite x minus 4. Then... We have limit as x approaches 4. Let us rewrite 2 minus square root of x all over. Let's multiply 2 square root of x by x minus 4. And that is 2 square root of x multiplied by x minus 4. Then, let us multiply this one by the conjugate of 2 minus square root of x. That is 2 plus square root of x and let's write 2 plus square root of x so let's multiply the first term to first term and last term to last term and that is limit of x approaches 4 2 times 2 is 4 negative times positive is negative and the square root of x times square root of x that is square root of x square and the square root of x square is x and let's have 2 square root of x multiplied by x minus 4 times 2 plus square root of x. Then to simplify, let us write 4 minus x in the form of x minus 4 and that is limit of x approaches 4. 4 minus x same as negative 1 times x minus 4. If you are going to multiply negative 1 by x minus 4, you are going to have 4 minus x. Then let's have 2 square root of x times x minus 4 multiplied by 2 plus square root of x. So this time, let us cancel x minus 4. And let's have here limit of x approaches 4. That is negative 1 over 2 square root of x times 2 plus square root of x. So this time, we can substitute the value of x, and that is negative 1 over 2 square root of x, that is square root of 4 times 2 plus square root of 4. Then we have negative 1 over square root of 4, that is 2. Let's have 2 times 2. And then 2 square root of 4 is 2. So let's have negative 1. 2 times 2 is 4. And then 2 plus 2 is also 4. So our final answer is negative 1 over 4 times 4 is 16. And this will be our answer. On example number 2, what is the limit of 1 over square root of x plus 3 minus 1 third all over x minus 6 as x approaches 6? If we substitute directly the value of x, we will end up with 0 over 0. So how can we find the limit of the given expression? So let's have limit as x approaches 6. And then let us find the LCM of 3 and square root of x plus 3, and that is 3 times square root of x plus 3. And let's multiply 3 times 1, that is 3, and then negative 1 multiplied by square root of x plus 3, and that is square root of x plus 3. And let's write x minus 6. And then we have limit as x approaches 6, let us write 3 minus the quantity of square root of x plus 3. And let us multiply 
x minus 6 by 3 square root of x plus 3. So let us write here. And then, let us multiply this one by the conjugate of 3 minus the quantity of square root of x plus 3. And that is 3 plus the quantity of square root of x plus 3. So let us write this one under the denominator. So let's multiply the first term to first term and last term to first last term. So let's have limit as x approaches 6, 3 times 3, that is 9. And then negative times positive is negative. If you are going to multiply square root of x plus 3 by itself, we just simply cancel the radical sign, and that is x plus 3. And then let us write everything on the denominator. That is 3 square root of x plus 3 multiplied by x minus 6 times 3 plus square root of x plus 3. And then let us distribute the negative sign in the parentheses and let's have limit as x approaches 6 and that is 9 minus x minus 3 all over the denominator. So let us have 3 plus square root of x plus 3. And then 9 minus 3, that is 6. So let's have here limit of 9 minus 3, that is 6 minus x over the denominator, which is 3 square root of x plus 3 times x minus 6 times 3 plus square root of x plus 3 as x approaches 6. So let us write 6 minus x in the form of x minus 6. And that is limit as x approaches 6 that is negative 1 times x minus 6. If you are going to multiply negative 1 by x minus 6, you are going to have 6 minus x. So let's have the denominator 3 square root of x plus 3 times x minus 6 multiplied by 3 plus square root of x plus 3. So let's have x minus 6 will be cancelled. And let's have limit as x approaches 6 is negative 1 over 3 square root of x plus 3 multiplied by 3 plus square root of x plus 3. So this time, we can substitute the value of x, which is 6, and that is negative 1 over 3, and then 6 plus 3 times 3 plus square root of 6 plus 3. So let's have negative 1 over 3. 6 plus 3, that is 9. And the square root of 9 is 3. Times 3 plus 6 plus 3 is also 9. And the square root of 9 is 3. So we have negative 1 over 3 times 3 is 9. And then 3 plus 3, that is 6. So our final answer is negative 1 over 9 times 6 is 54. And this will be our final answer. On our last example, what is the limit of 1 over the square root of x plus 2 minus 1 half all over x minus 2 as x approaches 2? So to simplify the given expression, let's have limit as x approaches 2 let us find the lcm of the denominator of 2 and the square root of x plus 2 and then let us multiply 2 
times 1, that is 2, minus negative 1 multiplied by square root of x plus 2, and that is square root of x plus 2, the negative sign. And then, let us write x minus 2 on the denominator. So let's have here, limit x approaches 2, let us write 2 minus the parenthesis of square root of x plus 2, and let's multiply x minus 2 by 2 square root of x plus 2. So let's have 2 square root of x plus 2 times x minus 2. And let's multiply this one by the conjugate of the numerator, that is 2, plus the quantity of square root of x plus 2. And let's also write on the denominator. Then, let's have limit as x approaches 2. Let us multiply 2 times 2, that is 4. Negative times positive is negative. And if you are going to multiply square root of x plus 2 by itself, let us just simply cancel the radical sign. So that is x plus 2. And let us write everything on the denominator. Then let us distribute the negative sign in the parentheses. So let's have limit of x approaches 2, that is 4 minus x minus 2, all over 2 square root of x plus 2 times x minus 2, multiplied by 2 plus square root of x plus 2. 4 minus 2, that is 2. So let us write our answer here. Let's have limit of x approaches 2, 4 minus 2, that is 2, minus x, all over 2 square root of x plus 2, multiplied by x minus 2, times 2 plus square root of x plus 2. Then, let's have limit of x approaches 2, let us write 2 minus x in the form of x minus 2, and that is negative 1 times x minus 2. If you are going to multiply negative 1 by x minus 2, you are going to have 2 minus x. Then, let's have on the denominator 2 square root of x plus 2 times x minus 2 multiplied by 2 plus square root of x plus 2. And then we can cancel x minus 2, let's have limit of x approaches negative or positive 2 of negative 1 over 2 square root of x plus 2 multiplied by 2 plus square root of x plus 2. So this time, we can substitute the value of x which is 2. So we have negative 1 over 2 square root of 2 plus 2 times 2 plus square root of 2 plus 2. Okay. Then, let's have negative 1. Let's have 2. 2 plus 2, that is 4. And the square root of 4 is 2. So we have 2 times 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 4. And the square root of 4 is 2. So let's have here negative 1 over 2 times 2 is 4, then 2 plus 2 is 4. So our final answer is negative 1 over 4 times 4 is 16, and this will be our answer. So I hope you will learn from this lesson. Thank you so much for watching, and God bless us all.